Stuart Wheeler is with me now. Well, there were plenty who thought that drama was a bit far-fetched. Is it just as far-fetched to see Nigel Farage in some kind of government role after the election? Well, nothing could be uh, more far-fetched than Dior Grammer. Um, I don't think he'll be in a government role. He said that he won't have a coalition. He might um, give whatever it's called something or other and supply, Confidence which means supply. voting with the government on most things. I don't think he would accept a government position. You wouldn't like to see him as Deputy Prime Minister or something like that? I doubt it. I mean, I'm not on the inside now. I stopped being Treasurer nine months ago, but I very much doubt it. But, of course, you're giving all this money to help propel UKIP as close to power as possible. Uh, how... Is 100,000 the extent of it, or will there be more? For, for this election campaign, I've given just under that, I think. But that's about it. I've got to consider my family and myself. I don't think there'll be much more from me. And, obviously, political donors have been in the firing line in the last few weeks um, over tax avoidance. Um, do you agree with Lord Fink, the Conservative donor, that everybody does it? Everybody avoids tax? Well, it depends tax? what you mean. A lot of people have ISIS, maybe you have, and that is a way of paying less tax. It's introduced by the government to enable people to do that. So not all tax avoidance is bad. I think if it's very, very complicated and terribly artificial, then one can object to it. But the ordinary man in the street will do whatever he can to pay less tax. Who wouldn't? How far do you go to avoid tax? I haven't really done... I'm just trying to think anything much to avoid tax. Um, I've got three children, and I am intending to give them some money very shortly so that they won't have to... If I survive seven years, which is doubtful, um, they <laughs> won't sure have not. to pay uh, inheritance tax on that money that I give them. So that's a way of avoiding tax, if you like. I think... An awful lot of people do it, and I think it's quite OK. So you think it's a kind of... That is vanilla tax avoidance, you think? If you call it vanilla, yes. That's what Lord Fink called yes, it. Yes, OK, well, that's all right, yes. But what about... I mean, obviously, you, you own a castle. Would you do something slightly more complicated to ensure that your family doesn't pay inheritance tax, for example? Um, we've discussed that, I must admit, but it looks very unlikely that there's anything legitimate, and we wouldn't do anything illegitimate, that we can do which would save us from that. It's possible that when my wife and I are both dead, um, we could get some kind of relief because it's a major place, and if we allow public access, or our, rather our successors do, they might um, be free of inheritance tax. But that's nothing to do with what we are doing now, no. So if you looked at it, but, I mean, you wouldn't do anything sort of too... Complicated. I mean, the Labour Party leader has done a I don't think thing. we would set off terribly complicated things in Switzerland or somewhere, no. Obviously, the risk with all of this is when people, the ordinary man in the street, as you put it, see uh, powerful people in politics trying to avoid tax, they think that it makes them look rather out of touch. And given that UKIP is supposed to be uh, anti the elite, it's in touch with the man on the street, isn't there a danger of undermining that? Well, now, hold on. I think we are, at least... Nigel is, and the party is, very much in touch with the man in the street. But are we anti-elite? No, elite just means somebody who's very, very good at something. And why should anyone be anti-people who are good at something? I don't think we would say we were anti-elite if elite is meant in that way. Do you think there's a danger that the political discourse is sort of bashing successful people? Uh, uh, bashing successful people? Well, successful people in certain areas, they don't bash successful actors. They don't bash successful footballers. Um, so it's rather special. Business people, though? I suppose it's mainly business people, yes. And that's damaging to the political discourse? Well, it's bad luck on the business people. I don't think it particularly matters otherwise, as long as they're thick-skinned. Um, I, I mind what my friends think of me. I don't really mind uh, what you say about me or what a lot of other people say about me. Fair enough. Now, you're a betting man, so give us a bet how many seats you think Nigel Farage is going to win. I think he might easily get into the uh, teens and could even do better. He might do worse. Uh, it's very, very swingy. One of the few uncontroversial things Nigel Farage has said recently is that this election is unpredictable. <laughs> Stuart Wheeler, thank you very much for joining me.